right, fine. Yeah, let, let, me get, not, let me get into Monica, time, and then we'll come back to you. Go ahead. Okay. Well, obviously, this is a complex issue with a lot of moving parts, but I think that Ben Stein really hit on a critical part of this, which is that for decades, the black community was largely conservative. Martin Luther King was a registered Republican. They were church-going. They had solid traditional values. After the civil rights movement, the left got into that community and helped to destroy it through government dependency. Government dependency then opens the door to a whole range of problems, drugs, crime, the breakdown of the family, all the stuff that you have been talking about. The left needs a permanent underclass because without that permanent underclass, they're out of business. So that's why they perpetuate this. And then the cycle. I, I don't know how. Themselves. I don't know how welfare benefits destroy families. I know how they sap motivation in some cases. All right, in some cases, but I don't know how a welfare benefit can make a man abandon his children. And that's that's the big issue here. But like I said, it opens the door to all I, of these I don't know about issues. opening the doors, left, Monica. I don't see that the linkage. Left for decades, under the guise of trying to help the black community, which we know is completely bogus, has pushed these programs down. Right. And the I, I don't see the linkage themselves. between the personal behavior and the left's because embrace of Because if you are dependent on government, then you are less inclined to be self-sufficient. That's sapping motivation. Itself. It doesn't lead to derelict behavior like abandonment. It, Let it, me get those think about it. Perpetuate poverty, I, crime, drugs, breakdown of not family, buying, one generation I'm, to another. Monica, I'm not buying that the leftist opinion of welfare leads to bad personal behavior. Thank I'm you, not Val. buying it.